Hello and welcome to Under 1000. My name's Thomas Flower and each episode I'll read you a piece of super short fiction. All of the stories are 1000 words or less. Today I'll be reading The Us Who Survived. Hey, are you going to be in or around Glasgow on the 5th of December? I'm hosting a queer flash fiction open mic night at Category as Books from 7pm. Check out the Under 1000 Facebook page for more details and come join us if you can. It should be a lot of fun. Please be aware that this episode deals with abstract themes of abuse and contains strong language. So if that's likely to upset you or anyone you're listening with, then you might want to skip this one. We lit a fire somewhere deep in the woods. We wrote the names of those who had hurt us, wounded us in ways which made strange and grotesque things grow within our bodies. We threw the names onto the flames and gathered gleefully around to watch them burn. The memories, the pain, did not go up with the smoke. They stayed inside us, still present like cancerous cells not yet turned benign. But the joy of cleansing ourselves of these people through fire made the fight a little easier, lifted the weight from us a little more. We baked potatoes and toasted marshmallows. We made joy and community out of the pain which had driven us into the heart of the forest. We sat together to eat and talk and lay down our burdens for a few moments. I heard stories of those who had walked through fires of their own and come out the other side. All had been burned, all had survived. I knew that I too would survive. We cursed and sang and wailed together, carving perfect gifts for one another out of the shards of our broken hearts. We were not always kind, but we were always caring. We did not speak properly, because proper is not always truthful and honest, and the painful shining light of truth was all we needed. We watched the fire bloom, blossom, and die away into the embers of nothingness, from which we had birthed it. We poured water on it, killed it quickly and vindictively, refused to let the ashes know peace for what they had done. We would not let the paper fragments rest, for they contained those who had caused so much disruption to us. We did not forgive, nor forget. We remembered, and we sought revenge on the fire we had placed this piece of ourselves into. After it was over, we left. The pathetic final embers smouldered ineffectively away, and we refused to care, and we abandoned them. We could not shoulder more pain, we had only room for joy, only with each other. I heard the passion in your voice then. I saw you, some part of you, now unconcerned with what had come before. You showed instead the love and joy and zest for all things you contained. That rare peacock kept caged inside yourself for too long. We trudged. We left. We rejoined the road. The mud from our boots was the only reminder. We returned to the other world. The normal world. The world where everything had happened before. We did not know what was to come here. But we had shared something of ourselves at least. Cloaked away in my brave new armour, I left you all. I didn't know if I would be safe, but I knew that safety was no longer a concern. The creeping terror had been taken from me, perhaps only for a moment, but that was enough. You went to your homes, I went to mine. The night ended, somewhere out there the ashes scattered to the winds. I hope they find your name. Constructed piece by piece from those very ashes it now belongs to. I hope they see how I wanted it to burn, so that I could remove with fire that very part of myself that you instilled within me. I hope they know you, bastard, so that you cannot hide behind the face of presumed innocence you once wore with such reckless glee. I hope they curse you, as I have cursed you, and that the guilt within you never dies. As for me, I will be baking. Making something new for myself. You cannot leave me. You are trapped inside me now. The ugly sewage you poured in will stay forever, no matter how I try. But bile can be forgotten, and I will forget. I want to create something new, 
a space that doesn't hold you in it, where I am free of the me that you created. The fire cannot truly cleanse me and water will not wash you away. I know that every day I am a little more free. Every time I step outside and refuse to be scared, you are more distant to me than before. Every time I can take pleasure and joy from those I surround myself with, the memory of you retreats to the dark alleys of my mind where it belongs. I will not put your name up in neon lights anymore. You do not deserve a billboard. You made something of me, but I am the one who built this self, and I will credit you no longer for what I have become. Go now to the slums, to the broken warehouses and forgotten streets. You are not welcome in my neighbourhood anymore. And so I am. And so too I hope they are, as we are, as you can be, and I know you will. There exists so much more within us than what they saw when they branded us with their arrogant markings. I see it in you all as I picture you now. The beautiful wild things dancing in the flames. It was born of you. They cannot get this part of you. It will never be theirs. They do not even know it exists. And now I am alone again. Happily I trundle on. Tonight showed me something pure and true. Though doubts will come, I shall try to hold steadfast to it. And I shall be baking, baking onwards, making something for myself. Thank you for listening to Under 1000. I'm your host, Thomas Flower. To follow the show online, look for Under 1000 Pod on Twitter or Facebook. If you'd like to support the show on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash under1000pod, where you can sign up to read each month's stories in advance, as well as to have a thank you be read during these credits. The theme music is an instrumental version of In Between Days by Nick Tate and the Sharks. To hear the full song and more from the same EP, go to Nick Tate, N-I-C-T-A-T-E, and the Sharks.bandcamp.com, or search for them on your favourite streaming platform. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you'll join me again next time for some more super short fiction.